I have a Westinghouse dishwasher model SB907. The display rinse is flashing and when I close the door the machine beeps. I can unlock the locking device by holding the button down but the machine keeps beeping and flashing. What can I do to start the machine? Tunny I would try unplugging or flipping off the circuit to the dishwasher for about 10 minutes then power it back on again. And if that doesn't help then we will need to reset the control. To reset the control hit and hold either the start or power buttons for 10 seconds then let go. This should manually reset the board. Then try to run another cycle. And if it still doesn't work for you then you may just need to fill the rinse aid cup of the dispenser. Please try those and get back to me here. Thanks. Tried all of the above without success, the program keeps going back to flashing rinse and lock lights with regular beeping. Hello again Tony. That is unfortunate that you were not able to get this machine running again. I am sorry but it looks like you may need the control panel and board if the unit will not work for you. Especially if it can't be reset. Are you sure your control panel is not locked? If it is not locked nor will it work or functional all but is lit and responsive to presses of the keypad, then you will have to replace the control board. Or call out a technician to your home to take a better look. If this dishwasher is any older than 7 years it may be hard to find parts still available. And also may not be worth the cost of repair as well. Especially if the board is going to cost about $125-$175. I may just be worth it for you to spend that money on a new machine. Please get back to me here if you have any other questions or concerns and I will help you more. Otherwise, if you feel that I have helped to answer your questions, please remember to rate my performance below with OK service or better rating. This way I can get credit for helping you from the website. Just simply come back to me here by continuing the conversation, and I will help you more until you are completely satisfied. Thank you. You indicated I may need a new control panel and a new board. Is the board located in the door behind the control panel? If so I will dismantle the door to see if there is something I can see that is obviously wrong as I have nothing to lose. Awaiting your reply. It depends on the model. But yes. Most boards are in the front panel of the machine. And is usually called the control panel that the board is located. I would check the exploded view diagrams for your model but this machine is older and I can't find the diagrams. I would first try the reset. And if that doesn't work then pull off the front console and check the control panel and board. If you see any wires loose or burnt or cut or damaged in any way then that would be your problem and would need to be fixed. If no damaged or loose wires replace the control board. If you have any other questions or concerns please get back to me here and I will help you more. Otherwise, if you feel that I have answered your questions please remember to rate my performance positively below by rating OK service or better. Thanks. And after a. Uh, and after rating me, should you have more questions, Please feel free to come back to me here and I will help you more for no additional charge. Repeat question, where is the board located so I can inspect it? The control board is in the top part of the door. To inspect it you need to open the door and remove the top set of screws all g the sides of the inner door panel. This will release the top control portion of the door where the control board is located. After you gain access to the control board visually inspect the board. 
If you can't see the control board yet then there is most likely a black or gray plastic cover over the board. And there will be some clips you will need to depress on either side to remove the cover to access the control board. Physically check to see if any wires are loose or not connected to the board first. If no wires are loose or damaged in any way then power off the machine for 10 minutes. During that 10 minutes remove each wire one by one and lightly brush it off with a damp cloth and put back on the control board. This will clean the terminal ends and sometimes will work. After you have checked and cleaned all the connections power the machine back on after putting everything back together and see if it runs. If it does then great. All you needed to do was reset and clean the board. If it doesn't work the You need a new control board. Also, if the machine runs fine but the rinse light stays on then you may just need to fill the rinse aid dispenser with new rinse aid. Try those suggestions and get back to me here and let me know what you get. If you feel that I have helped you please remember to rate my performance positively below. Thanks. Thanks, XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX